Hi everyone, Susie here with another scrapbooking process video. Today I am showcasing a photo of my two grandkids, Evelyn and Finn. I'm starting out by using the packaging technique on some watercolor paper, using some Zig Clean Color markers, and I'm using a very pale pink because I wanted, didn't want to overpower their... It's a very pale picture and I like the softness of the photo, so I just want the background to be very pale. And I will be adhering this photo to that watercolor paper. And I dry it with my heat gun a little bit just to speed the process up a little bit. And after I adhere it, I will also be using some pattern paper from Echo Park joy a bundle but you'll see me first try I, I tried using some um, another background with um, some brown splotches of paint but it was really way too overpowering so I just discarded that and I did not end up using that it just was too bold for the photo for me so I went with this um, Echo Park paper and this is kind of a crosshatch pink that I'm using to for the first border and then I will be using some brown and then that polka dot that you see there. Yeah, I have a, several um, bubble bath pictures of my grandkids because that is just what they do at Gigi's house. So. And I, I try to be, you know, discreet when I do it. Um, and now I am adding some, that is some cute, um, tape. It's not tape, but it's, it's strips of, um, looks like a measuring tape. And I'm adding a strip of brown and pink to the bottom. There is that brown that I tried to add that I watercolored. And it was just too overpowering for me. So I will discard that and end up um, just layering my um, mats onto another piece of white. I tried it, but I just didn't, just wasn't pleasing to my eye. So there you see the white, and I did add some um, pink splotches of paint to that. And I think for those pink splotches, I used my um, Kiritake watercolors. And then I'm adding, adding some phrase stickers that are from the Echo Park collection. They're not stickers, they're just um, cut apart strips. And now I'm doing my upper left hand cluster using some Maggie Holmes tags and um, a floral shape from Felicity Janes. And I added a die cut from Paper Tray Ink. The die cut is from the Half and Half collection. Now I'm adding the bo the bottom border, and I used a um, my favorite uh, not not my favorite things. I used a Simon says stamp border, the scallop border, the white border that I'm adding to the bottom there, and I believe it's about five and a half inches wide. So I just die cut it twice and adhered them together to make that bottom scallop border. And I'm adding some twine. It is just some burlap twine with some gold strands through it. And throughout the page, I noticed that I had some gold accents. So in the end, I end up adding some more stickers from an American Crafts sticker sheet. They were a little bit more sparkly than I wanted but I just couldn't find any matte gold that I wanted to add, but I really wanted to include that gold. 
So here I am doing my bottom right hand cluster. And I'm kind of doing the same thing as I did in the upper left hand cluster. I'm doing three tags and kind of stack and layering them. And adding the twine down there as well. And what I did off camera that um, you don't see is I added a stamp at the bottom. It's a Technique Tuesday stamp and it says this is what I want to remember most. This day, this moment, this story, this life along with a date stamp, and it is by Allie Edwards. It's an older set, but you know, I hang on to stamp sets like that that I know that I will use again and again. So I'm just finishing up. I'm tying, I'm adding a little bit of glue to the twine tag ends so that they kind of stay in place. And here I'm adding those gold pieces that I thought were a little bit too sparkly, but in the end I really ended up liking it. Kind of brought all of the gold together that I had in the corners, and then I ended up doing like a little flourish around the tag in the upper right hand corner, and around the heart in the bottom right hand corner. Little sunburst, you know stickers. But I really like how this turned out in the end. I love the angle of the tags in the left hand corner and I love how it complements the cluster in the bottom right hand corner. And I finished it off with adding some sequins and I debated between, I had two shades of gold, there's kind of a brassy gold and then a true gold and I went with the true gold and that's what you see me adhering here and I think that about wraps it up so guys thanks so much for watching I will see you next time hopefully it's soon bye bye